Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I, I love All Saints Day. I also, I also dread it. Um, I dread when it comes up because every year gets harder and harder. Harder to sing these hymns. I'm glad you guys can sing that last one because I have not been able to make it through that in probably a good three years. Why? Oh, because every year it, it gets more personal. Every year when we're singing this song and we sing, uh, who is this band that stands before the throne of light? Well, we know. Uh, we know more of them, more of their names, more of their faces. Um, you know, it would be really creepy, but we could take that picture up there and put on the faces of our dearly departed. We won't do that because that would be creepy. Very much so, and, and probably not all that that wonderful of a thing, but, but really that's the case when you sing the song, Behold a host arrayed in white, like thousand snow-clad mountains bright. Uh, behold, they stand, who is this band before the heavenly light, the throne of light? Uh, these are our loved ones. These are those who Christ has died for. And every year, uh, it gets harder and harder because we know more and more. Uh, last year, I believe we only named three in our congregation's prayers, only three that died in Christ. This year, that number is more. Uh, and it gets harder because we know them. We know the struggles they went through. And we know that, that the world did not know much about most of them. They were not the saints like Peter and James who get feast days for them. Instead, we lump every last one of them into this day, uh, All Saints Day, the day for the rest. But for us, it's probably a lot harder to get through than St. Peter's Day or St. James Day, especially if you've lost someone in the last year. Uh, but, and it gets harder and harder because we know the stories of these people. But it also gets easier. It gets easier because we see more and more people coming out of this great affliction, this great tribulation. We know their stories. We saw them near death. We saw the struggles that they faced spiritually, physically. And while we mourn them, we know that, as we just sang, Christ has wiped away every tear from their eyes. Uh, we're still going to cry, and we should. And we should mourn them because death is not right. It's not what God created this world to be. He did not create us so that we could die. But he did come into this world so we could live. If the All Saints Day might not get the, the press, I don't think All Saints um, decorations are in the stores um, all Saints songs haven't been playing on the radio, but the church needs All Saints Day, maybe even more than, than the rest of those days. Christmas is wonderful, Easter's great, Good Friday's great, even the Ascension of Christ is a wonderful day, but what All Saints Day does is All Saints Day takes all of those days and it makes them real. You see, we could, we could go to church on Christmas without faith, and many people do. Who just go to church on Christmas because, well, that's what you do. It's another thing to check off the list along with getting presents, watching the Nutcracker, uh, eating fruitcake, and, and things like that. Um, Christmas is that way for some people. Easter can even be that way too. Another cultural thing that we do. It's springtime. We want to put on Easter bonnets and wear nice pretty dresses and get dressed up fancy. And, and now, dear saints, I'm not saying that's the case for every one of us. I hope not. But Easter can be that way for some. Another thing just to do. Even Good Friday, it's a very American kind of thing, sacrifice and, and honor. But, but you could go through all of those things and still think of them just as nice stories or myths. We know that's not the case. But many people do that. For many people, it's just another thing. All Saints Day, though, makes all of those holidays, all those holy days, incredibly real. Because it ties all those days to people that we love and that we care for. It shows us that Christ came on Christmas, not just so that we could sing Christmas carols and, and walk around in snow, but he came so that he could come into this great affliction, this tribulation that we all face because of our sin. We have a God who loves us so much that he came down into it and, and suffered 
for us, not just on the cross, but throughout his life being persecuted. It makes Good Friday real because it's not just a day to honor sacrifice, but it's a day to remember that Christ's sacrifice was the ultimate sacrifice for us, not just to get through another day of life, but to give us eternal life with God in heaven. We need All Saints Day. All Saints Day makes all those other days real. They're not just holidays, just things to do, but they're the story of a Savior who loves the ones that nobody else even remembers. See, for many of us in our minds, we're maybe thinking of certain people on this day. And I can guarantee you that those names are not on the minds of every single person here. But they are on Christ's mind. Because they are all individual people for whom he came, for whom he suffered, for whom he died. So that they might live. John sees this vision of All Saints Day. He sees this vision that we saw in our first reading of those coming out of the great tribulation. Well, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, those are our loved ones. Our loved ones who died with Christ in their baptisms and who live with Christ now. Who are they? The angel asks, and and John says, Sir, you're the one that knows, and he tells them. These are those who were washed in the blood of the Lamb. Those who were baptized. Those who heard God's word pronounced to them and told to them that they were indeed forgiven of all of their sins. And so are you. Dear Christians, All Saints Day is a beautiful day. Yeah, it gets harder for us as we get older, as more and more saints that we know go and die in Christ, and we add to that number every year. But it's also something we need to remember. To remember that God has indeed wiped away every tear from their eyes, from the struggle that they had, from their own sin and the wrongs that they knew that they did. And and sometimes those are the biggest struggles at the end of someone's life. Well, Christ has wiped away all of those tears because he has taken away all of their sins. All the things that they deserve God's wrath and they deserve maybe even our anger. Jesus Christ has taken it away. Their sins have been forgiven. And he has wiped away every tear from their eyes. Dear Christians, that's joyful. That's what gives us hope. That's what gives you life. Yes, Christmas is wonderful and Christmas hymns are great. Good Friday is great. Easter is also great. Uh, And that's the other thing that All Saints Day reminds us of too, is Easter is not just a celebration of spring and flowers, but it's a celebration not even just of the resurrection of Christ, but the promise that God will raise even those who have died in Christ from the dead too, along with you and me. So we sang in that opening hymn, But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. This hymn has been talking about the saints in heaven and how they're at rest and at peace and at joy, but there's even a greater day than their death coming when they went to be with Christ, and that's the day that we just confessed we look for which is the resurrection of the dead, when Christ will come again, and not just every tear from each individual's eyes, but the whole world will be complete and perfect in that new creation. Below there breaks a yet more glorious day where the saints triumphant rise in bright array. But dear Christians, while we wait for that day, we still join with the saints. That's the joy we have too. You can remember that at Christmas and Easter and Good Friday and those days that we remember our loved ones. But you can remember it every Sunday as well when you commune at this altar. You see, All Saints Day is wonderful because it reminds us that all this stuff, it's actually real. Christ really took on flesh. He really died. He really rose. And he really gives you his body and blood, that feast that the saints join in in with you in heaven as we sing every Sunday with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven. That means all of those saints, we're joined with them. This is a day of victory. And yeah, it gets harder every year, but it also gets more joyful every year because there are more saints with Christ in heaven. More saints that were added to Christ's grace this year too with all the baptisms we've had. 
more saints that are added to that number, that great communion. That's what we sing about. You can't really go to All Saints Day just to check it off a list. It's not just a holiday like that. What All Saints Day does is it makes it real. It shows us that each and every one of us is loved by Christ to the point of his suffering for you and for them and for me so that you can have life. Now may that peace of God and surpasses all of our understanding. May it guard and keep your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ, your Lord. Amen. At this time, we stand for the prayers of the church.